three, two, one. It's the Puff and Step Podcast. We are back on your listening device. It is the Puff and Steph Podcast. Hello, Steph. Happy Monday to you. Hey, happy Monday. Monday. You just like froze big time. It's okay. You're yeah, you're, you're said too. No, it was you, not me. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna push the blame out. How are you doing? How was your weekend? Um, it was good. It was very good. Um, I'm trying to think. Well, we golfed on Friday. Yeah, that we'll, was so we'll talk much about fun. that. We'll talk about that in a second. Yeah. Um and. Sunday did some planning for preseason field hockey, which starts today. So we are, as of now, having preseason. Um, hopefully things continue to go well and we can actually end up having a season and it starts today. Nice. Uh, today's show brought to you by Freisinger Hyundai, right on the price, right on the pike. Go see Freisinger Hyundai for all your car buying needs, also maintenance as well. So let's talk a little bit about Friday. We golfed again. Um, this was not a tournament. This was Steph and I going out on the course and doing our thing. And you instead of instead of picking the best shot and then playing that person's shot, uh, we had to play our own ball and we had to keep score. Right. And Steph, I want to say that you're only your second time out. I was pretty impressed. Thank you. Not only did you make some decent shots and play okay, you also took direction really well. And I'm not like I'm not a world class golfer by any means. I'm not even close. But I do know some basics and I can share those with you to get you on the right path. Right. And you listened to everything I said and a lot of it worked, I think. It did. So thank you for that. Because you would give me advice and then I would follow it and I would actually have a good shot. So I appreciated you because I needed help. <laughs> so you played a full 18, your own ball. Do you still like golf? I do. I really, really like it. Um, I definitely like the scramble idea because if you totally screw up, you know, hopefully you can just rely on someone on your team who didn't. Right. Um, but no, I, I really like just the whole concept of it. Driving the golf cart around, it's nice out. It's just like fun. Right. And the actual game of golf is awesome too. And I just like want to get better. So I want to keep playing. Yeah, um, it gets super frustrating. And, you yeah. know, let's say you hit a six iron and you hit it amazing. You're like, oh, okay, well, that's what I do with my six iron now. And then all of a sudden, next time you pull out your six iron, you don't hit it amazing. And you go, oh, right. okay, well, this is golf. I get it. Right, exactly. And, you know, it's funny because so many, like, men that I know get really into golf and they'll be, like, in a bad mood. Like, what's wrong? I've had a bad round of golf. And I used to understand that. But now I get it. Like, it's really frustrating. Yeah, I, to me, I think you got to be good at golf before you can really get mad at golf. Like, you get mad out in the course. You're like, ah, oh, expletive. I messed that up. But... To let it ruin your day? Like, you need to check right. some of your guy friends. Because, like, really, you can't let it ruin your day. Be like, ah, you know, I I suck today. And then you move on with your life because you still got to play golf. Right. It was fun. Yeah. So, next time. I loved it. You'll get, you'll get better and better the more you do it. And you live right down the street from a driving range. So, you can always go there and, and practice, too. Practice. Right. Definitely. So we did have some news over the weekend. Crazy. Out of nowhere, Chadwick Bosman died. Uh, the guy who played Black so Panther, sad. played Jackie Robinson. Um, who, who else? Uh, James Brown, he played. Played Thurgood Marshall. I mean, he was really, really coming into his own as an actor, a standalone actor that would be able to to carry a movie on his shoulders. Uh, he was 43 years old. And the crazy thing about all of this like, I was at my computer doing some work, and then the wife was like, hey, the guy who played Black Panther died. And I was like, what? And I automatically assume it was like an accident, right? Car accident, right. maybe a plane crash, you know, like, like I don't I don't want to bring up bad thoughts, but like Kobe Bryant, like 
Kobe Bryant was a helicopter crash. Like you, I automatically thought it was an accident. Come to find right, out, right? Because it was sudden. Right. Come to find out, he's had colon cancer for four years. How in the age? Nobody knew. Yeah. How in the age of everyone knows everything about celebrities? Did none of us know about Chadwick Bosman having colon cancer? Nobody knew. It's completely under wraps. Right. I don't. I know. I don't know how he kept that so quiet because I thought the same thing when I heard that he died. I assumed it must have been something completely sudden. Right. It, it just it makes sense that it would have been an accident, and then come to find out, he's been sick the entire time. He's been doing a lot of these movies. Like Black Panther came out in 2018. He shot it in 2017. He was he was going through treatment for colon cancer during that time. Right. And nobody knew. And it's crazy because we know every it seems like we know everything about celebrities nowadays. And we didn't know right. that this guy was dying th this whole time. It was it was crazy. It was it was a shock to a lot of people. He was a fantastic actor, played in some great movies. His Jackie Robinson movie was awesome. Uh, I haven't seen the Thurgo Thurgood Marshall movie yet, but obviously every time he played Black Panther, it was awesome. Just it's crazy. So sad. Yeah, very sad. All right, let's move on to uh, kind of another sad thing. Sorry, that's not how I want to start the week. It's just oh, great. I'm sorry. This is what it's been given to me. Uh, a Michigan couple's wedding day was ruined by crashers who stole all of the gifts from their outdoor celebration. No, that's messed up. Uh, yeah, they had a ceremony uh, last Saturday uh, behind the home of the groom's mother. In Michigan, the wedding was held outside. Uh, COVID nineteen precautions, so the said that like 150 friends and family could celebrate. So that's why they did it outside. At some point, three women who were not invited to the wedding, okay, wandered over and told guests they were bringing the presents indoors, and people believed them. But when the ceremony was over, the gifts were nowhere to be found. The groom said, uh, "After the wedding, we couldn't even go." Uh, to a honeymoon or nothing. We just went home. It killed the whole vibe. Because they were going to use that money to go on a honeymoon? Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's the reason why. Like, maybe they just couldn't go for travel reasons. Who knows? Uh, but wow. now all their gifts are gone, too. That's awful. And it was women. Like, no offense to anybody. But I, like, in my mind, I was picturing men. Yeah, I mean, I can't say that I wasn't picturing men either, um, but right. no, it was women. I, but it, it also. I guess the, what? I was gonna say. I guess the reason I assume that it was men is because I feel like women are more emotionally connected on the sense of like you wouldn't do that to another woman on her wedding day. You know, like that's just so messed up. What have you just met women? Women like. <laughs> Women are petty. Women are vindictive. Women don't care about other women. Really? Well, yeah, I guess that's true. kind of weird, perfect bubble you've been living in. Well, I guess I just feel like, yeah, they're petty and like have stupid fights and everything. But I feel like when it comes to the biggest day of your life, a woman should be able to go, oh, that's messed up. I wouldn't do that because I wouldn't want someone to do that to me on my wedding day. That's what I was thinking. But I guess I'm wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying all women would act like this. I'm not saying you or your mom or any of your friends. But those women exist. And I'm right. And good for you for not being exposed to them. But they totally <laughs> exist. All right. Coming up next, Misconnection Monday. It's the Puff and Steph podcast. Freisinger Hyundai, a refreshingly different car buying experience. Freisinger Hyundai dedicates itself to customer satisfaction. From the initial sale to the maintenance you'll need during the life of the vehicle, Freisinger Hyundai treats you like family. Check out their large selection of both the latest Hyundai lineup to certified pre-owned and used vehicles. Come see how Freisinger Hyundai drives the difference and tailors the purchase process to your needs. Right on the price, right on the pike. Freisinger Hyundai, 6115 Carlisle Pike Mechanicsburg, 717-766. 8422. During this time, many are out of work and struggling just to get by. It's good to know that your friends at Capital City Buy and Sell in Harrisburg have your back. 
If you're in need of extra help during the pandemic, you can pawn or sell unwanted or unneeded items that you may have laying around your house, including jewelry, electronics, tools, musical instruments, and a whole lot more. Capital City Buy and Sell is open seven days a week, and they're always paying cash. Plus, they have low pawn interest and terms if you aren't quite ready to say goodbye to your item just yet. Capital City Buy and Sell, 3517 Walnut Street, Harrisburg. Online at harrisburgpapawn.com. Great news, everyone. American Shaman of PA's doors are back open for normal operations, and they're ready to bring you the much-needed relief that you've been waiting for. They care about their customers, and their customers keep coming back for more. Steve K says, American Shaman products drastically decrease my back pain and relieve my stress in just one month. Thank you. Stop by your local American Shaman of PA store for a free CBD sparkling water and free samples. Find their locations and more at HempusHealth.com. Do you love saving money but hate buying one of those coupon books filled with places you'll never go to? Well, here comes Quick Save Coupons to save the day. Quick Save Coupons is an app where you can find savings for restaurants, stores, and experiences that you will love. And here's the best part. It's free. No big coupon books to buy. No websites to give your information to. Quick Save Coupons will show you all of the savings in your area right on your phone. Just go to Google Play or the App Store and download the Quick Save Coupons app. Then start saving money on many of the places you already go to. Now back to the Puff and Steph podcast. We kick off the week with love. We're trying to help out our peeps in Central PA. It's not easy meeting somebody right now. Maybe your special someone is at Steph's door that her dogs are barking at. They're excited about Misconnection Monday. Is that what it is? All right. Yeah, Misconnection <laughs> Monday. Okay, we scoured the pages of Craigslist to help Central Pennsylvania find love or let them know that someone's watching them. Let's do this. All right. First up, we have Blonde Beauty. You were a cute blonde standing next to a Ford Ranger. <laughs> you were a cute blonde standing next to a Ford Ranger with your dog. You were not having a good day when I saw you. I waved and I'd like to talk to you more. I need more information. What happened that she wasn't having a good day? How do you know that? That's all. He, that's all that he said. That's maybe, it. maybe she had like a dumb face, like a sad face, like, or maybe that's <laughs> just her. Ma- maybe that's just her face, and he thinks that she's like, "I'm having a great day." So this is obviously not about me. Or she walks right. around with her like, right. and she walks around with her constant sad face. I'm. I'm. Maybe so, she just has one of those faces. I'm so happy yep. right now. <laughs> Hannah, we kept staring at one another. As I checked out, you were behind the register with another person, but our eyes kept staring at one another, and I could tell you smiled as I did. Right, so because they're both wearing masks. So right. All right, Steph, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put my hand in front of my in front of my mouth. Okay. Uh huh. You need to tell the moment I smile. Okay. 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 Okay, I, I still don't think you're smiling. You are smiling. Yeah, I couldn't tell. Nope, I couldn't tell. So this guy's just like, I could tell you were smiling. Nah, really? he was just hoping she was smiling. Now, some people, when they smile, if they smile really big, their eyes kind of smile too, you know what I mean? Right. And I kind of understand that, but that's a lot of assuming, brother. That's a lot of assuming. Right. He got his hopes up. Wait, can you tell if I'm smiling or not? You are right now. Yes. I guess my eyes. You have a big you have a big smile. You have a big smile. I do. (laughs) All right, next up, young country girl in Lancaster. We were both pumping gas and you looked over at me and smiled. I'm the older guy. I'm I'm sorry, let me rephrase. I'm the older, good looking guy who smiled and said hi. I wish that we could have talked more. He called himself good looking. Yeah. That's that's why I picked this one. Because he said I was the older good looking guy. (laughs) I have here's the thing. I don't most of the time if you're good looking, you know you're good looking. Okay. People have told you your whole life that you're good looking. People tell you you're attractive. People tell you you're hot or pretty or handsome, or beautiful, whatever. So you kind you 
you kind of know. You maybe maybe you stay humble. Maybe you're like someone tells you they're like, "Oh, thanks. That's so sweet of you," right? Or maybe you're this guy who very well yep. who very well could be good looking. And maybe his whole life, people have told him he's good looking. Maybe his friends like say that they don't want to hang out with him because they make him look, make them look bad by comparison. I don't know what his story is, but there's actually a chance that he is a good looking guy. Right. He might be. He but, really might be. But don't say it. You know, don't, don't sit there and be like, right. I was the very attractive male looking your way. Right, because when you say that, you automatically lose attractiveness because you're being cocky and arrogant, and it's not cute. So there, says Steph. This is called ah. Morning Walker. We see each other weekly, and you always stop to talk when I'm walking my dog. Love to go to the next level with you. Okay? So, up until there, this isn't that bad. He's talked to her. He knows her. They have met several times. It's this last sentence that I'm about to read you that is the only reason why I picked this. <sighs> you have great blank, by the way. And blank is another word for chest that starts with T. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no! Don't be too bad. <laughs> Like, how amazing is, like, everything, like, we see each other weekly, and we always stop to talk when I'm walking my dog. I would love to go to the next level with you. Like, you should probably, that's probably something you should tell someone in person, but right. then you just end the whole thing. That was the last sentence. By the way, you got nice bleeps. <laughs> <laughs> that's how he wraps the whole thing up. Oh, my gosh. Because, that yep, no. I mean... Again, I spent a lot of time with you, and, and I understand kind of what you could see in a guy, and and are, already you might be attracted to this guy because he has a dog. And, oh, definitely. Right. And this could be a guy that would be talking to you, right? Like, yeah, we run into right. each other maybe at the gym or something like that, and we talk every once in a while, you know, to the gym girl, the blonde gym girl. You you always have the biggest smile on your face. I love how intense you are when you're working out. I'd love to take you out sometime. Like, boom, end it there. But that's where you stop. If he ends it with, by the way, you got nice bleeps that I like looking at. <laughs> Yep, that pretty much ruins it right there. there that goes, ruins it. There goes your chance. And by the way, I'm very handsome. Yeah, by the way, I'm really good looking. <laughs> All right, that was your Misconnection Monday. Uh, this is creepy. In India, a man was busted for painting toenails. This is what this guy would do. Listen. He would sneak late at night into the bedrooms of of unsuspecting and sleeping victims and would paint what? their toenails a red or pink color. Nuh-uh. Ew, like into people's houses? Yep, he would break into your house and paint your toenails. Here's a twist. That was it? Here's a twist. He would only do it to men. Oh, I was not expecting that twist. That's a weird twist. That is a t weird twist, I agree. Ew. So he has a foot fetish, but only for other men. Yeah. So imagine. <laughs> imagine you're <laughs> you're in the living room and you're just hanging out with the dogs. Maybe your mom's there. And then from the basement, you hear, what the hell? <laughs> and it's your brother, Joseph, from his bedroom. Someone had broken into your house, stolen nothing. Broke nothing, did nothing, but sneak into Joseph's bedroom and painted his toenails a very bright, luscious red. <laughs> and Joseph woke up and found him. No, he, no, he just woke oh. up and saw his toenails painted. Oh, right, because this guy must be getting away with it. And then yeah. people are just waking up and all of a sudden their toenails are painted. He was <laughs> caught, but he, he's been doing it for a while. So this was the first time he was caught. 
Oh my gosh. Why? Like, what I does he have to say for himself? I don't know. It's a very small little blurb I found. It has no, like, quote from him or anything like oh that. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, you know what? With all the bad things in this world, I guess if he's just trying to pee in some people's toes, it's not the worst thing, you know? Okay. All right. All right, Steph, you want to give him a pass? That's fine. <laughs> well, I mean, he's not hurting anybody. He's not stealing anything. I'm just saying it could be worse. It's, it is breaking and entering. It is illegal activity. True. So, that is, no, that's a, true, because, that's a true statement. So imagine if this were to happen at your house. <laughs> All right. Let's just say Joseph wakes up one day and he's got red or pink toenails. Number one, he's going to blame you or your mom. And you guys didn't do it. Here's the problem. Is that is it a victimless crime? Kind of until you realize that someone was in your house, and then and then it's, right. you know, and then it's all creepy, and you guys don't feel safe in your home, and things like that. That's true, and it's terrifying to think that someone could come in and do that, and you never knew it. Yeah, <laughs> you slept for it. So there, you, so there you go, Steph. Usually, I'm the one, you know, defending criminals. Not, <laughs> not, not this time. This time, you're like, whatever. He's not hurting anyone. Maybe they even look good. <laughs> Maybe he just wants right, to... if he would let you pick the color, it would be a little better. <laughs> he breaks in your house. Are you a uh, red, green? You just want me to do like white or clear? Either way, it's going to look fabulous. Just lay there. You're good. Uh, coming up in just a couple of minutes, the sexiest accents in the United States. Start thinking about it. It's the Puff and Steph Podcast. Freisinger Hyundai, a refreshingly different car buying experience. Freisinger Hyundai dedicates itself to customer satisfaction. From the initial sale to the maintenance you'll need during the life of the vehicle, Freisinger Hyundai treats you like family. Check out their large selection of both the latest Hyundai lineup to certified pre-owned and used vehicles. Come see how Freisinger Hyundai drives the difference and tailors the purchase process to your needs. Right on the price, right on the pike. Freisinger Hyundai, 6115 Carlisle Pike Mechanicsburg, 717 766 8422. During this time, many are out of work and struggling just to get by. It's good to know that your friends at Capital City Buy and Sell in Harrisburg have your back. If you're in need of extra help during the pandemic, you can pawn or sell unwanted or unneeded items that you may have laying around your house, including jewelry, electronics, tools, musical instruments, and a whole lot more. Capital City Buy and Sell is open seven days a week, and they're always paying cash. Plus, they have low pawn interest and terms if you aren't quite ready to say goodbye to your item just yet. Capital City Buy and Sell, 3517 Walnut Street, Harrisburg. Online at harrisburgpapawn.com. Great news, everyone. American Shaman of PA's doors are back open for normal operations, and they're ready to bring you the much-needed relief that you've been waiting for. They care about their customers, and their customers keep coming back for more. Steve K says, American Shaman products drastically decrease my back pain and relieve my stress in just one month. Thank you. Stop by your local American Shaman of PA store for a free CBD sparkling water and free samples. Find their locations and more at HempusHealth.com. Do you love saving money but hate buying one of those coupon books filled with places you'll never go to? Well, here comes Quick Save Coupons to save the day. Quick Save Coupons is an app where you can find savings for restaurants, stores, and experiences that you will love. And here's the best part. It's free. No big coupon books to buy, no websites to give your information to. Quick Save Coupons will show you all of the savings in your area right on your phone. Just go to Google Play or the App Store and download the Quick Save Coupons app. Then start saving money on many of the places you already go to. Now back to the Puff and Steph podcast. Uh, there's this travel company called Big Seven Travel. They just did a survey about the sexiest accents in the United States. So we're just staying in the U.S. here. We're not going to Australia, which is what most people are going to say. Um, so these are just accents that can be found here. And there is a wide range of accents. Um in the United States. Steph. Right. If I would say sexy United States accent, what is the first thing that comes to mind for you? Um, this will not come as a surprise to you. My first thought is like a Southern accent. Right. So when you think Southern, like, cause here's the thing. I'm looking at this and, and they have like States and cities. Like Texas is the number one sexiest accent but is texas is an accent yeah is texas is that southern or are you thinking of like alabama which is number four 
on the list? See, I was thinking more like Alabama, Tennessee, like that area. But right. I don't know what I would call it other than just Southern. Right. Like Alabama is number four. Kentucky is number 10. And if you sat two people down and had them talk and then said, okay, Puff, which one is Alabama and which one is Kentucky? I don't – what? And then you throw a guy from Texas in there and I'll just be like, I got nothing. I got nothing. Right. I wouldn't know the difference. Like New York came in at number two. So I'm guessing the city. Um, Boston was number three. Which they go hard in the yard. <laughs> See, I wouldn't call that sexy. Interesting, funny sometimes, but I wouldn't call it sexy. Around here, uh, Philadelphia was number seven. So Philadelphia accent? Yeah, yeah. Um, Pittsburgh was in the bottom five, so Yins did not do a good job. Yins. <laughs> yeah. Um... Bottom five, Pittsburgh, Minnesota, Florida, Long Island, and New Jersey. All right, you spend a lot of time in New um, Jersey. You have family right. in New Jersey. Do they have accents? Have you noticed that? Um, I haven't picked up on it as much because I'm used to it, but people will comment. Even like my mom grew up in New Jersey, and people will comment that she says certain things. Like when she says like Shannon or like Shannon, like there's slight differences, but it's not really an accent. It's just the way that things are pronounced. Well, I mean, there's, yeah, it's the same thing around here. Things are pronounced weird around here. Um, right. Case in point, Lancaster, there is a town right outside Buffalo where I'm from spelled the exact same way. That's Lancaster. But here. Oh, uh, No. Right, but here it's Lancaster. Um, right. I remember when I moved here and I said Lancaster on the radio, like 10 people called in and be like, get out of here. We don't want your kind, outsider. I bet. People people mess around with that. They take it seriously. Well, like, for instance, and this is the one I tell all the time, too, that I got in, uh, not in trouble, but I got picked on for, was the school name, right? The school before middle school is what elementary and nice and i say elementary where See, that's so weird where i'm from we say elementary elementary school it is how it's spelled that's how it's spelled just that like how sense. lancaster is spelled lancaster not lancaster but it is what it is and you just have to deal with it now i don't say elementary anymore i say elementary because you know yeah. apparently i do care what people think I'm glad you came around. Yeah, thank God, because that was really going to keep me from having friends. Okay, let's <laughs> stump Steph. Over 30,000 men in America are injured each year doing this. 30,000 men in America are injured each year doing this. So not very common. Um... Is it something they're doing around the house? Yeah. Um, is it some type of like project or like hanging something up or fixing something? No, no. Is it a like activity or a sport? Nope. But they're doing it around the house. Yes. Is there a specific room of the house that they would probably be doing it in? <laughs> Yeah, that's a good question because they'll probably give it the kitchen. Oh, cooking. That was the right question. <laughs> yeah, good job. Uh, yeah, the kitchen. I, I, I guess you get like cuts, burns. Right, um, they can be bad. Yeah, they really can be. Um, I do have on this finger, there is a permanent scar from slicing myself with a knife on this finger. Oh. Uh, Did you have to get stitches? No, but it was it was deep enough where it was it scarred me. Um uh. other than that, I don't think so. That one year I was in that 30,000. But other than that, I've stayed I've stayed pretty safe in the kitchen, luckily. Right. All right. Uh on average about 30% of men's clothing purchases have this in common. What is it? About 30% of men's clothing purchases have this in common. What is this? 
um, have this in common? Is this like a, a fact about the item that they purchased itself? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, have this in common. Does it have to do with like the price? Nope. Does it have to do with the type of clothing? Like, is it a specific brand, like article of clothing? Nope. Mm. This is a hard one. Yeah, this is this is definitely more difficult than the other one. Um, do you just like do you buy a lot of clothes that have this characteristic? I don't buy any clothes that have this characteristic. Have this in common. Um, think about what you what's just something... think, think about what you just asked me and what my answer was. I don't buy any clothes with this characteristic. Does it have to do with like the material? No. Um, something that you're not interested in. Nope, that's not what I said. I said I don't buy any of these clothes with this characteristic. Well, that would assume me to believe that it's not something you like, or you would probably buy clothes that have this characteristic. Don't assume that. Well, you have to realize how confusing that is on my end when I, when I yep. don't know the answer, yep. but that doesn't help. Yeah, it is. I'm just trying to steer you in the right direction. I honestly don't even know what direction to go in. I'm so, I'm so like, I'm, I'm trying to like picture clothing, like the material, hey, the, the price. The, the clothing doesn't matter. But it's something about the clothing they're buying, right? It's a, it's a fact about it, but it's not. It could be any article of clothing. It could be a hat. could be a shirt. could be shoes, even. A, a weird scarf that guys shouldn't wear but do. Mmm, this is really hard. Have this in common. Um, it doesn't fit right? Nope. <laughs> nope. Um, right, so it's not, I'm trying, I'm trying to, if you don't get it with this hint, or the way I explain it, then we'll just say we stumped you. Uh, <sighs> whatever clothing you think it is, throw it out the window. It's just an article of clothing. You asked if I have ever bought this, and I said, I, I have never bought this. But it doesn't matter if I like it or not, or it doesn't fit me or whatever. It doesn't matter. I have never purchased it. But. So it's been given to you? Oh, oh, maybe. Oh, it was a gift. It was a gift. <laughs> By who? It was a gift from your wife. Who is a? It was a gift from your mom. No, no, no. Who? Who is a? Female. A gift from a woman. There we go. <laughs> Thirty percent of men's clothing purchases have been purchased by women. Wow. See, now that clue you gave me made makes sense. But in the moment. I was so confused. Of course. It's, it's, it. it's always easier when I have the answer right in front of me. Okay. I uh, hope you guys liked today's show. It was brought to you by Freisinger Hyundai. We will be back tomorrow for more fun. Let's do this. It's the Puffin Steph Podcast. <laughs>